Now the universe is thus a function or a state or an aggregate of H1 hydrogen supergas atom. Now the proton or the sun gives birth to the earth or the electron. Okay? And the electron and the earth circle around the proton and the sun. That means they come from there. Now here you see again, this is the planet earth before it became the, the and that will be shown later before it becomes the planet that we know of today you can see here the protonic center and the electronic center because they go 300,000 kilometers per second to reach that protonic state and now everything becomes the same again creation begins right at this black line H2 gas helium gas perpetual reaction to create uh, to create the uh, the Sun forever and ever although the Sun does have an, a limit to in H um, so this, when the earth was first spit out of the sun, it was like a big fireball, okay? And it started spinning, rotating, and spinning and rotating faster. It went around the sun, and it started to cool off and shrink it. So over 4.6 billion years, what has happened now, as you can see when we move the picture a little bit lower, you can see that the inside the earth we still see very much the sun. So here we have the hydrogen-1 atom, the supergas, which is still inside the earth and so creation still happens right there because that becomes H2, that becomes H4 in the, the, the lighter red here that becomes the higher gases and here you have the liquid state of, of, of all elements and when we move more to the surface you can see the, higher, the lower colors are blue and indigo and purple and finally at the crust of the earth we see the black and we all know that it has only solidified to about 30 kilometers so only 30 kilometers of a 6,000 radius kilometer radius from the center to here, 6,000 kilometers, only 30 kilometers have solidified. Now the sun here, the H1 atom, the super gas, has here descended all the way to the black. You see white, uh, orange, yellow, red, uh, blue, indigo, purple, black. It has all the way descended to the outside of the earth. And now from the, from the black on in, it starts ascending again. And you can see that the water has again become indigo and the air around it has become blue and of course when you go right to the sun if I take this picture then that's the sun and we can go back there for a moment you can see that becomes from blue to red again orange yellow white so you see from earth and sun you have the boat going from the lower colors to the higher colors now the super gas relates to the sun and the star right here the solid relates to earth and land the liquid relates to water and ocean, the gas relates to air and sky. Now, when the liquid was formed and the solid was formed, all of a sudden the H1 atoms start clumping in, in the world of all possibilities. And in the same as with the cellular Cambrian explosion, when all the, the creatures were created about all at the same time, we also have the elements. When it becomes liquid and gas, all the elements are formed right at the same time. That means gold when it got formed right with H1 atoms being clumped together or silver or zinc or beryllium or lithium they were all formed, or uranium, and they were all formed, boof, ready and they're still the same like that today now we, I have drawn here the, 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 the picture here so this is, the, this, this is the, um, the true size in comparison to the sun and that's, I couldn't draw anything in there but it has become very small like the electron and the proton as the Earth, in comparison to the Sun, has become very small. Now, a quick runabout. This is the H1 atom, and the atom creates all of creation. As you see from the center out, it creates all of creation. This is the Sun. It's not that clear in your picture, but I will point it. This is the Sun. This is the Earth, and the water, and the air, right here. Now, if I relate that quickly to the atom, the, already the Sun is related to the proton. The air around the planet is related to the light that you see around the, uh, um, uh, in, in, in the H1 atom. The water you can see which flows is related to the plus and minus because energy flows. So the water is related to that. And of course the earth in, in, in the planet, earth, is related to the electron which is right on top here. So earth and the electron because they're both solid. Okay, now remember that the sun is separated from the earth. Okay, so here we are again. So this is the atom again. 
every part in it, H1 atom, and as I said, H1 atom creates everything. It has created the sun and the earth and the water and the air. And so those four elements, of course, when you know when I what I talked about earlier, when the in, inside the earth you have H12 as a super gas, it goes out, H2, H4, helium, and then becomes uh, the lower gases as well as the liquid. And as soon as it hits the liquid and the solid, it creates all the elements. And including, of course, in the air we have hydrogen and oxygen and nitrogen, and of course the ocean have H2O or, or water, and then we have in the in the earth elements of carbon and phosphorus and sulfur. It's hard to read, but that's why I named them off. And so this is an organic soup, a primordial organic soup. Now over time, over many many years, with the four elements of the sun and the earth and the water and the air, those special chosen elements over time create a little peptide, and that's our first brain. Now the peptide goes more complicated, come nucleotide and DNA, RNA, but the scientists can tell you much more about it. And over time the DNA and RNA finally creates a first living cell. Now we have the first thing, or the atom, H1 atom. This is the first being, or the first cell. Now inside I've drawn you an atom, because the atom created an image of the cell. Now quickly to make a few correlations. In the electron, we have in the micro, in the cellular, microcell, we have the mesoderm, which is in the macrocellular, the body. And then the plus and the minus, the energy, the voltage, that is the endoderm in the cellular. The endoderm is the blood, the, the mesoderm is the bone and the muscle, which you see the legs here. And then of course the soul that relates to the, the macro uh, uh, organism. Now we have also in the center the ectoderm, which is of course the nerve. And of course in the macro it becomes the spirit, which I will explain a bit later. So we have the atom here that creates an image or the cell. You create the atom, you see the H1 atom and the cell are very similar, it is built. Now this is of course a quick run of the cell. Now we have the atom a bit bigger. You can see that the electron becomes the body, the muscle, muscles in the bone and the mesoderm, the plus and the minus. The flowing part becomes the endoderm or the blood. Or the, and the, uh, the, the light, that becomes the, the ectoderm. You can see the ectoderm and so the light, the spectrum here becomes the ectoderm, the plus and the minus becomes the endoderm, and the body here, the, the electron body, that becomes the mesoderm or the bone and the muscle. Now the image, interestingly, as I said in the first page, the image comes from the center or the sun part, so the image of all three, of the mesoderm, endoderm, ectoderm, that becomes the image, and that's the sun part which I'll explain a bit later. Now, the atom builds the cell, so the first thing, hydrogen atom, builds the first being, the cell, of course, builds the first organism. You see that I've chosen the flower of life always, seven circles around the center, and which represents the, the, the macro-organism too. So the macro-organism, many of those cells combined, comes a cell organism, bone and muscle, the blood, and the nerve, and of course, the image of the tree.